welcome to part two of tight ass tips by the old fart now today uh, you may have noticed I've altered the old control box and what I've done that for is to save time now it's important to save time because me tight ass tips this week are all about taking your time so to take time you need to uh, get a bit of time somewhere else so basically I bought one of these Sestos timers uh, which I fitted into my panel and what that uh, does if I go to bed at night I set everything up and uh, get everything ready for the next day and set that for so many hours for it to come on in the morning so if I set it for six o'clock it's ready to do in at seven and uh... okay then so what is today's uh, tight ass tips all about well I'm doing a brew today so I thought it'd be a good time to show you my secrets of how to get your efficiency right eye up and uh, if you get the efficiency right eye up when you're doing a brew obviously if you want to hit the numbers dead on uh, you're using less grain to do it if you've got poor efficiency you'll need a lot more grain to extract the fermentable sugars so therefore um, let me show you the first tip I'm just about to dough in I've got the temperature at uh, 70 and I want to finish off at 66 so uh, the grain will take a bit of the heat out of the uh, hot liquor and uh, I'll dough in. Now the secret to doing this is take your time. Do it over about 15 minutes, which sounds ridiculous I know, and your arm will hurt. And also use a cup, not to drink out of, but just to get the grain in bit by bit. So let me show you how I do it. and I'll certainly be fast forwarding on this video but it'll take about 15 minutes so basically that's took us about 10-15 minutes but it's it's really worth spending all that time getting the uh, the grain in there and then what I would suggest you do if you've got a recirculating system do it very very slow recirculate as slow as you can and I'm going to set the timer for an hour and a half I'm going to reduce the temperature down to 66 and uh, I'll see you in one and a half hours the next tip is to sparge very 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 slowly so you just dribble it through perhaps a little bit more than that let's just do it a little bit more perhaps like that now that will turn to hot liquor and what I intend to do is just keep the line the line at the right place on there and just open and then sparge very very slowly another couple of, couple of tips a uh, couple of tips goodness me is when you're doing the boil just do it for one hour in total that's uh, used to do it for an hour and a half but uh, I just found no difference apart from it evaporated more and made it a bit stronger I guess but let's be on so yeah just do it for an hour in total you know put your additions in as you go along that's what I found also only boil enough uh, water or liquor in your hot liquor tank just enough for the recipe 
you'll get the amount off Beersmith if you've got it and then you've only boiling the right amount of uh, water to, to do the job. And the last tip, money saving, is uh, I always use the old uh, cube. I don't waste I don't waste money uh, with uh, cooling it down. I've not found any difference. The clarity is always the same. The taste is always the same, and uh, I find it a lot better. The only bugbear with it, you have to wait the next day to. Uh, Put it into the fermenter but uh, I'm not too worried about that so at the moment I've just got some cleaning fluid in there um, I forget what it's called now the one where it cleans it and uh, sanitizes it but I've still got to get to a whiz round so yeah So this is the actual brew that I have just completed. I've done a Banks original or a Banks's original and uh, these are the costings. Obviously water for nothing, uh, £2.90 for the Maris, 17 pence for the chocolate, 171 for the Fuggles, uh, 12p for uh, a tablet, clearing tablet and uh, 53 pence for the goldings and 69 pence because I've had to use my own yeast I think that's wrong actually so that needs to go up to uh, 175 so let's alter that that's because I've got 0.4 of a packet there we go so the total cost of that brew which will make uh, uh, 19 litres is £7.18 uh, for this particular one. Uh, I've boiled it for 60 minutes and uh, my brew house efficiency that I've measured in the past is 91.1 estimated mash efficiency is 95.2 uh, and uh, basically that's it so the efficiencies are very very high and uh, obviously the cost of beer is uh, the most important thing so I hope you've enjoyed part two of the uh, tips and uh, I'll show you the the beer when it's actually finished and probably do a few more tips uh, with the finished beer when it goes into the keg so thanks for watching if you like uh, what I've been up to uh, then please uh, leave a comment if if you'd like to ask any questions or make any any jokes but failing that uh, if you've not subscribed press 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 the subscribe button I'd appreciate that thank you